The next thing that we're going to be doing is making our website social media icon. So what does that mean? So at the bottom footer here, we have these social media icons and I have Facebook, YouTube and Google Plus, but obviously you can use whatever you want. You can put in uh, uh, Instagram or Pinterest or, or whatever you have. You can also put the social media icons up here, which is pretty cool. And so how do we do this? Well, it's pretty easy. The first thing that we do is go to our website, obviously, and click on customize. Once we do that, we're going to see uh, over here on the left where it says social. So just click on that. And again, if this keeps on um, popping out, we can go to header options and mobile menu and uncheck this. All right. <clears throat> All right. So just go to social and it has, you know, uh, up to 10 accounts here. So we can put in maybe Facebook. And then put the Facebook uh, social media. So I'll just, you know, type in my Facebook URL. All right, and then it's going to say select image. So we have to go to uh, logomaker.com or anywhere, or you could, you know, go to icon finder. Uh, but I like logo maker because then you can color it perfectly. So I'm just going to go to L O G O M A K R dot C O M. And I'm going to search for Facebook. Facebook. There we go. And I'm going to pick all of the icons in the same type of style. So if you want them all hearts or all circles or all rounded squares, I'm going to do all rounded squares. And then we're going to do the same uh, color. So that is um, FF6E40. It's that orange color. And I'm just going to click on this and change it to that color. So you just click, hold, and drag and make it that color. All right, so now that it's that color, we'll just press save, and I'm just going to save this as Facebook to my desktop. All right, and once that's saved, why don't we do all of them while we're here? So let's type in um, YouTube, and we'll find the rounded corners, type the same one, and again, we'll make it that orange. So we'll just click on the paint and make it orange. All right, press save. And this one is YouTube. Well, again, save it to our desktop. All right, and then <clears throat> we'll delete that one. And we'll do Google Plus, Google Plus. And we'll again make it that rounded corners. One, click on here, make it orange, save it as Google Plus and save it to your desktop. All right, so once that is all done and saved, we can exit out of Logo Maker. And you know, it's nice to give uh, credits to um, the people who have made these logos. So click to here to copy credits and then just make a page on your website um, that gives these people credit for um, creating these logos. All right, so once we do that, we can select image and we can upload files and select files and we find the Facebook one and we press open and choose image. I'm going faster because you guys have done this already. All right, once we do that, we can um, just click this to go back and it doesn't have our settings right now, but it'll say Facebook here eventually. So let's go to um, number two and this one is YouTube. So I'm just gonna type in my YouTube social media URL. And, oops, sorry. Let's put in YouTube here. All right, and then we'll select our image and upload files, select files, choose YouTube, open it up and choose the image. And this is very cool that it's all gonna be color coordinated. 
It's going to make it really professional, have a very polished look. So this one's Google Plus. And let's select image and upload files, select files, and let's select Google Plus. There it is. And all of these uh, icons are in in uh, the zip that you downloaded before. All right, if you're making this exact website. All right, so once we do that, we're not going to see anything here. So we need to save and publish. And once we do that, we can exit out, and we still won't see anything here. So go back to customize. And if we look at social, now we can see Facebook, YouTube, uh, Google. But what we need to do is go to our footer options and go to footer content. And instead of nothing, let's put social icons. And now they all appear here. And if you hover over it, it'll say follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Google+, which is really cool. Save and publish and exit out of here. And now we have our social media icons, easy breezy. And we can go ahead and check that off and complete lesson. And now we are 89% done, so we are very, very close.